Previously on Money Penny, there wasn't really much going on. It was cold in Chicago, so we sheltered from the cold and went to the boat show. We saw tons of drool worthy plastic and wonderful craftsmanship, and we also met these two sailing legends. So it is blowing like stink here in the uh, in the boatyard. There's a bit of storm coming, as you can see. Um, I love the sound of the rigging. I really do. Um, just been around the old girl. Really, she she's wintered wintered rather well. Um, lifelines have got a bit saggy, but that's not the end of the world. The only uh, the only problem that I can really see is this little guy down here on the base of the keel. It's like this little this little crack here and. This was all full of water, so I sort of picked it off and let the water run out, um, let that dry out, and I guess we'll do some sort of um, epoxy, uh, epoxy fill, um, and then and then barrier coat and whatever else. Um, but the project list isn't very long this year. The, the, the covers, the covers are still there, which is great. Um, one of the one of the biggest projects that I want to do, she's an old boat and I've been meaning to do this for a few years, is the, the rub rails. As you can see, right, oops, drop the camera. As you can see, like right up here, the rub rails are a little bit worn out and a bit and a bit rubbish. And she needs some new like touch-up paint there. But the other problem is if we come around the other side, her rub rails are actually broken and in a terrible state and we've lost We've lost the cat rail. Um, so somebody at some point before I owned her bashed her into a dock and broke that because the uh, the pulpit, I don't think you can see it here, but the pulpit right here is bent. And that drives me up the wall because when you're sailing along, she looks like she's sailing around the corner. Uh, so I need to try and get that figured out, either fixed or replaced. But all the rub rails, I want to replace all the rub rails this year. You can see the bright work. Uh, I, I'm going to redo all of the woodwork and there'll be There'll be a video about woodwork because a lot of people are asking about that. Um, but that's it. She's she's uh, she's still here. The year before I came into this yard, they had problems with boats falling over, and so now they just use a ridiculous amount of stands. So she ain't going anywhere. So everything on the outside looked great. Bear was a little bit confused because he'd never seen the bottom of the boat before. Time to check out the top sides and the cabin. Make sure that everything was dry inside. First, uh, first glance doesn't look and then too bad. I have to say, I'm always really, really impressed with with this boat. I, I do love her. Um, one of the things that is is great and again this year is when I turn the batteries on she's held she's held a full charge on both batteries throughout the course of the winter again this um this blue light from the uh, from the tarps that's over the windows is more than just a little bit unsettling um, she's she's great she's in great shape she has wintered incredibly well we've not had a bad winter this year um, but everything looks everything looks really good. Everything looks good top sides. Um, there are a couple of leaks. The handrails need to be pulled um, because that, those leaked a little bit last year, so they need to be pulled and rebed. So everything on the deck is going to be pulled and rebed. But I mean, apart from that, she she really she really is in 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 great shape. The batteries are full. Um, yay! Uh, we're back. We're back. Welcome to uh, welcome to. Welcome to spring. She's she's dry. She smells a little musty, but that's just needs airing out. Yay! Happy sailing season. Next time on Money Penny, we go back to the yard to make a start on the projects, but get distracted by this little guy. So we get on with uh, filming the review on that nice gift we got the last time. <laughs>